You wake up at 3 in the morning to find your Zigbee lights strobing in your bedroom? Well, I did. If you've had any connectivity issues, let's go through a Zigbee and Habitat here and uh, show you guys how to get that problem rectified. The first thing that you're going to want to do if you've had any connectivity issues is log into your Habitat and then go to Devices. Now don't be too scared here. I initially was thinking this was going to reset all my devices and automations. It did none of the sort, even if I had to do the hard reset, but uh, I'll take you through it step by step. Once you get into Devices, click on Add a Device and click on the Zigbee. You'll click on the Start Zigbee Pairing and what you'll need to do then is you're gonna need to go to every Zigbee switch that's not performing correctly or not operating correctly and put it back into pairing mode. Most of the time that's pretty easy to do. All you do is push and hold the button until it flashes and it's gonna pop out the device. Once you see the device listed in the bottom point here, just click on that device and that will take you into the device setup tab. Once you get to the screen, just scroll to the bottom and where you see the save device, click on that button and the device will reset itself up. Now a couple of things to keep in mind when you do this, you will need to do this for any device that's not behaving itself properly as well. Be very sure that you put the Zigbee device into the final location that it's going to be in. Now this is because Zigbee operates like a repeater and all of the different plug-in devices are acting as repeaters. So if you're setting the thing up, and this is where I went wrong, I was setting it up right beside me and the plug here, then moving it to its final location. So that was a big, a big problem on my part. If you're brand new and setting up your devices for the first time, start with the devices that are the closest to your hub and then move to the devices that are in the farthest proximity to the hub, slowly increasing your radius kind of thing. But this will let the devices figure out how to hop to communicate back with the hub. Okay, great. So hopefully you got all your devices hooked back up and back on your Zigbee mesh. Now, what if you're thinking, all right, I did the same thing you did where you connected all your devices in just kind of a random order. Is there a way to reset it and build a proper Zigbee mesh? Yes, there is. I've got you covered. And this is what I ended up doing. And it alleviated the, uh, the whole discontinuity, uh, disconnecting, whatever you want to call it in my Zigbee mesh. And this comes right out of the Habitat documentation. So let's take a look. All right, to start out here, you're gonna go back into the settings on your Habitat and go to the Zigbee details. Now, you'll type the word in reset in here and you'll click the reset button. Yes, you are going to have to rejoin every single Zigbee device on your mesh. Don't worry about the automations, they will reconnect. I did mine and everything reconnected back up. I did not have to rebuild the automations and it did put the correct switch with the correct automations in all cases. And I've got, uh, I don't know, probably in the neighborhood of 20 different Zigbee devices throughout the house. Some are thermostats, some are light switches, some are plugs, different brand names. Every one resumed and found its way back to where it was supposed to be. Okay, so once you've hit that reset, you're gonna go back into your devices tab again, and you're going to add device. And keep in mind here, when we go to devices, to add the device, all your devices will still be listed in the list here, and that's fine. Do not delete these. You, you wanna make sure that those are still there. The resetting will reset, but it will not delete the device, so do not delete the device. Click on add a device, and click on Zigbee, start the Zigbee pairing, and now you're gonna to need to follow whatever the manufacturer's instructions are to put the device into pairing mode again or factory reset them. Once you've got that, they'll show up in the list here. Click on the appropriate device, which will take you into the device tab of that device. And just like we did on the other one, once you're done, scroll to the bottom and click on save device. When you do this, make sure you start from the device that's closest to your Zigbee hub and then move slowly into a larger and larger radius when you do this. So repeat this for every single device till you've got your mesh uh, completely set up, and then we're gonna to go to the next step. All 
All right, assuming at this point in time, you've got all your devices hooked back up. This is uh, kind of the detailed instructions and this is where I'm getting the information from. This is right out of the Hubitat documentation on how to build your Zigbee mesh. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this step right here, step three of your Hubitat mesh. When all of your devices have been added, power down the hub for 20 minutes. After rebooting your Hubitat elevation, your Zigbee mesh will automatically choose the best route for all your devices in approximately a 24 hour period. Alternatively, you can wait several days for the Zigbee mesh to establish the best path for communication between the hub and devices of its own. So according to this, it kind of sounds like you might just be able to get away without doing the reset. I wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want the old strobing 3 a.m. lights uh, for the second time. So after I did the one switch and realized how easy it was to factory reset them and repair them, I just did end up doing that for all of them. Poured myself a coffee, it took all of 25 minutes, rejoined all my devices, and then I still followed the uh, step number three where I powered down the hub for 20 minutes, powered it back up. That's been great. Everything is re-established, everything is back on the network, everything is working properly. My problems with the disconnecting of the Zigbee devices has been solved. Hopefully that helps you guys out as well. I know it's a quick video and I just quickly put this together because I figured if I'm struggling with it, there's gotta be somebody else out there that's banging their head against the wall trying to figure out the same thing. Now there are some additional tips as well to uh, maintaining and having the best Zigbee mesh. I won't read off the entire document from Habitat here, but I will leave a link for it in the uh, description uh, so that you guys can take uh, and build the best possible, most reliable Zigbee network for your home as well. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And uh, if I did help you, give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll talk to you again next time.